Hello, this is Joe and welcome back to the channel. The skies have been insanely cloudy for the past month. I've only had a, a, just a few nights to image the entire month, but tonight and tomorrow nights, two nights in a row at least, minimum, I'm gonna have some clear dark skies. I'm super excited. And uh, I, don't, I have no idea what I'm gonna shoot to be completely honest. So I'm gonna take you with me. We're gonna go to the observatory and and figure out what we're gonna shoot for tonight. So come on, let's go. Well, I got my new Atabacron built. I'm gonna use it to send a subconscious message to my friends, Glenn and Joe, about imaging a new deep sky object known as NGC 8675309. Here goes. All right, let's wait for the results. I'm so excited to have a clear night. I just don't know what I'm gonna shoot. But we'll get it figured out. I thought I heard something. All right, well. Oh. Hey, I got an idea. I, I know what I'm gonna shoot tonight. I will call Glenn. SH2174? This thing is a hunk of junk, it doesn't work. Oh well. Oh, it's Glenn. I was just going to call him. Hey, Glenn. Oh, hi, Joe. How are you, mate? You all right? Yeah, man. I'm doing good. Hey. I, oh, I, well, good. Yeah, go. I got an idea for a, for a video. Really? What, what, a target? Yeah, a target. Oh, I, I've got an idea for a, a, a target, too. SH2174. SH2 174. Well, wait. Did you just say SH2174? Uh, I did, yeah. That's what you said too, isn't it? Yeah. What well, What made you say that, Joe? I, well, I, I, I really don't know. I was on my way to the observatory, and then I heard, or I got this weird feeling, or I think I heard something, and it just said SH two one seventy four, and then I kind of got a little, yeah, and I got a little freaked out, no, and I ran in the house, and I was gonna call you, Joe. Joe. Joe, I, I, my scope said that target to me. I swear to God, my scope said it. And, your, I, and your, I'm not joking. Your scope it, told you? I'm telling you now, man. And I'll tell you what, it sounded, and I'm just going to sound really weird, it sounded like Kurt Zapatello from Astro Quest 1. Oh, dude, now that you say that, so did mine. The voice no I heard. It was, it was Kurt. Oh my God. We need to call him. Oh my him. God. We need to call him. Let's call him. Definitely. Uh, get him on the video link. We'll have a chat. Yeah. All awesome, right, Joe. I'll go, jump, I'll go indoors and get on my PC. I'll, I'll meet you in a minute. Okay. All right. Bye. All right, man. Bye. Hey, Glenn. Okay. I got Kurt. He's coming on right now. Oh, is he? You, have you managed to get a hold of him? Yeah. Oh, cool. Cool. We need to find out what's going on. Oh, oh. Hey guys! Hi Kurt. Hi Kurt. <laughs> Hiya, Kurt, you all right, mate? Oh, I'm fine. Hey, hey I got this um, idea uh, that I want to run by you guys. How about we image NGC eight six seven five three zero nine? It's funny you should say about a, 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 an image. It's the reason why we're calling you. But Joe, you, what would you uh, tell him? I was thinking of doing. SH2-174. SH2 hmm. You know, I was working on this thing, this device called an Atabacron recently, the other day, and that number was written on there, and that may have been what went through to you guys. 
What have you been doing, Kurt? We're not supposed to be able to hear you. <laughs> You've been experimenting on us. <laughs> oh my god! I, I am sorry, guys. But um, anyways, uh, I, I thought it wasn't working because I, like I said, I wanted to do that SA, uh, SA, the SA NGC eight six seven five three zero nine, but this SH two one seventy four isn't that a song somebody wrote back in the early eighties? <laughs> <laughs> Now that you mention it, it's, it's possible. <laughs> SA2174, well, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I'm glad you've confirmed that you did do it, Kurt, because I thought I was going mad and my telescope was talking to me. Really? <laughs> yeah, really. Mm. Well, anyways, I'm just looking at this uh, SH2174. Hey, this looks like a good thing to go after, man. Yeah, I'm on board. I'm, I'm game. Let's try it. Yeah, cool. All right then. Cool. Well, I'll well are we gonna just uh, get a bunch of subs and put them together? Yeah, I'll just get my CT10 on it and I'll start capturing. Sounds good. I, I will start it with my hyperstar and try to pick up a lot of HA on it and see where that takes us. All right. So, sounds good. That sounds yeah. great. Excellent. All right. We'll get back with you, Kurt, when we put all, okay. we get all of our data. Sounds cool. good. All right. Signing off. Speak to you later, guys. Bye. So after an interesting turn of events, we finally got our target for this evening. It is going to be SH2174. And it was thought to be a planetary nebula. I thought it was a planetary nebula when I first looked it up to find out what it was. And, but what it turns out to be is um, an interstellar medium. It's ionized gas. And uh, so they call it ionized interstellar medium. So for tonight, I'm gonna be using the William Optics uh, Zenith Star 81 telescope uh, with the ZWO electronic autofocuser, the five volt version that I removed from the Edge HD rig. Uh, I'll be using the CEM120 as my mount, the 2600mm Pro, along with some Antlia 36mm uh, SHO filters. Uh, it seems like all the images that I've seen so far of this look like they've been done in HOO or RGB. I'm going to actually give a sulfur a shot to see if there's any, uh, if I could pick up anything in the, the narrow band of sulfur. Uh, they're all three nanometer filters, so if there's anything out there in sulfur, I'm sure I'll pick it up. Uh, I believe that Glenn and Kurt were going to do the same, so we're going to check that out and uh, have one of the very few uh, full SHO images of this, of this target. Um, I do have a reducer flattener, so my effective focal length of this whole system is 447 millimeters, but with a much wider APS-C size sensor, uh, I should be able to uh, get a lot more around the, the planetary nebula, which isn't really a planetary nebula, but I, I'm still going to call it that because it looks like a planetary nebula. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm going to be guiding with the, the little uh, 50 millimeter uh, William Optics guide scope and the ZWO 120 mini on it. amazing time working on this project with Kurt and Glenn and to be completely honest I can't even believe that I'm working on a project with Kurt uh, from Master Quest One because he's actually the person who taught me how to use APT when I first started astrophotography I think I watched this channel for months learning APT and how to use it and and really how to start doing astrophotography so it's a great honor and I'm super humbled to be able to be doing a video with him um, and I had a blast. Uh, it was so much fun to work with Kurt and with Glenn. Uh, we had a great time. Uh, our target was extremely dim. Uh, I started the first night taking some Sulphur 2 images and I took about 10, 10 minute subs of them. And then I remember looking at them and I thought, oh, I just wasted a hundred minutes of imaging time on these Sulphur 2 images. 
Um, but then uh, I was talking to Glenn and Kurt and I, I showed them one of them and they, they were like, well, did you try and stack them? It's like, well, not really. I don't see anything there to stack. So I went ahead and tried to stack them and, and sure enough, there was actually something there um, to my amazement. And so uh, then I went ahead and one, one night I did nothing but sulfur images so that we can actually do um, add sulfur to our image because the majority of the images that I've seen online have all been HOO. So we um, actually did an HSO image of, of SH2174. Uh, I took all the data and I pre-processed it and I put all of our masters together and then I handed it off to Glenn and Glenn was actually the one that processed the image itself and it, it just came out amazing. I didn't see any reason, but both Kurt and I were like, well, we, we actually, Kurt and I both did um, a process, but it was nothing as good as Glenn's. I mean, he just did amazing. So um, we're using his image and uh, yeah. well. But together, the three of us got um, just under 72 hours of total integration time on this target. It was amazing. And it couldn't have come too soon because we've been working on this for six weeks. And I don't know if you could see, but I'm getting rained on actually right now. And it is raining here. Um, it, it's just, this has just been the way the whole you know, the, the summer has been so far is just rain. So uh, I, we're super lucky, at least I'm super lucky to say that we got 72 hours of total integration time on this target. Um, but you know, we have been working at it for over a month and a half now. Um, well, I hope you like the image. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys sticking with me this long and uh, we'll see you in the next video.